Rich on the home of the Woody Show. You know? No. Oh. Alt 98.7. All in or all out. LA's new alternative. Portions of this program will be recorded. Oh, yeah, that's the spot right there. The Woody Show. It's another new hour. Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It's a pre-Friday. It's Thursday morning. Sweet. It's March the 7th, 2024. Yeah. Woody Show here and at your service. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. Hi. Got uh, Greg Goring. Good morning. There's uh, Menace. What is up, Woody? We got Seabass. We got Sammy. Good morning. Got the phones open for you. 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Hit us up with a text over to 22987. Find us on social media. Any social media platform at The Woody Show. Some of the uh, news headlines coming up. I know everybody's excited. The State of the Union speech is tonight. Oh, so uh, wait. Yep. watch party in my house? Yep. Yes. Absolutely. All right, everybody bring I'm, snacks. I'm bringing artichoke dip. Is I'm it going to be live? Artichoke dip. <laughs> is it going to be live? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 It could go funny. off the rails. If it was live, live, I'd watch it. Yeah. <laughs> there is that video of uh, him. The, the reporters wanted to ask questions and he's like i can't do it i'll get in trouble right yeah, i saw that oh yeah do it live. we'll do it live we're doing it live uh a couple of get the f out of here things of note starting with you know this weekend we're putting the clocks forward right yeah. mm-hmm. so according to a recent study it could take up to five to seven days to adjust to losing that hour get the f- out of here Mm. Really? An entire week? No, I mean, even, not, so not, not even, for us because we go to bed so early. But even people who travel a lot, you know, for business mm-hmm. or whatever. And I think the general rule of thumb, like uh, when you're traveling between time zones, they say mm-hmm. give you one day for every hour of time change. So if you're going from the east to the west coast, west to the east coast, it's three hours, right? So max three days okay. to adjust to, to a adjust. three hour okay. time difference. Right. So one hour. One hour, you should be fine. Grow in a up. day. Yeah, grow up, suck it up. I never get jet lag because I don't really pay attention to the clocks. I just go, okay, it's dark outside. It's time to go to bed. Well, the and jet lag. So it doesn't really affect me ever. The jet lag thing's interesting. I, you know, love planes, love flying, mm-hmm. read a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. about aviation. Um, different planes, uh, commercial planes, private planes, everything else, they're rated in a way like one of the, the things that they're using now to, um, you know, as a, a feature. In these new aircraft, besides like fuel efficiency and wherever else, it's cabin altitude. So the lower they can get the cabin altitude, like the cabin altitude feel, okay, mm-hmm. the less any of any chance of any kind of jet lag. Which is why mm. in some of these corporate jets, these guys can go from here to wherever, and there's like no jet lag huh. because the internal cabin. Is they're flying mm-hmm. lower. No, they're flying like. Super high, but oh. the way they're they're able to do something with the pressurization of the cabin or whatever to make it so that the altitude feel on oh. your body ah. is like you're at three thousand feet above sea level as opposed to you know thirty five thousand forty thousand feet in the air. Wow, Weird. that's cool. It's pretty cool. That's, I didn't, that is interesting. I didn't realize they can do stuff like that. <laughs> we should fly at three thousand feet. Yeah, right, and Greg so, wants to fly just as high as the <laughs> highest building, and then a hundred feet plus. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. give yeah. 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 but like a um, hundred feet. Yeah, like some of these uh, these newer you know commercial aircraft too. They're doing like for international flights and stuff because mm-hmm. they're finding that hey, this is something that uh, people will be if you're going from you know New York to mm-hmm. Paris or whatever, mm-hmm. pretty cool. That's you can awesome. say yeah. hey, you're gonna get there. Yeah, it's a long flight, but you're not gonna be jet lagged the way that you used to be. Pretty cool. That's yeah. interesting. Dude, you, I thought that was pretty neat. You would love this. I probably you saw it in the news, but Rihanna got hired to do this like pre wedding party. She got like paid six million dollars. Yeah. And they sent her a triple seven uh plane for <laughs> her crew and like friends and family. Yeah. For a hundred and thirty people <laughs> wow. to fly God. to this thing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Dang. For a pre wedding, the the yeah. actual wedding's not even happening until July. Isn't that like Air Drake? Like, because Drake's got a... Yeah. He's so, got, like, a commercial-sized airliner that's his wow. private plane. Oh, my God. He does, yeah, because... Yeah, look it up online. Air Drake. Yeah, because he's friends with a guy that owns a cargo um, company. company. Like and a, then so he was able to, like, wrap one of the planes and then, like, uh, deck it out. Outfit it with yeah. whatever. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. It's, he just posted a video the other day, too. It hit my aviation feed. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> the, the pilots were landing with, like, zero visibility. 
Oh, wow. And then uh, they have a, a system on his plane, and the, the, it's on a lot of other planes, too. It's an autopilot land. Oh, so oh, wow. It That's lands cool. completely on its own. Now, my question was, once you land and you're on the ground, the, the pilots can't see dick. So how do they taxi? Oh, interesting. Right. right? But the plane, and, and you hear it because it calls out the altitude mm-hmm. as you're coming in, 200. 100. Right. And it starts yelling, by the Whoa. way. It starts going, retard, retard, what? retard. Yeah, because it, it's, a, it's a thing like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a system or whatever, and it, you know, retard is actually a legitimate term. Exactly. Right. right? Uh, and so, like, and all of a sudden, like, 50, touchdown. And then you yeah. see, wow. and the, the pilots aren't doing a thing. That's so wow. cool. Yeah, I mean, so you got to figure, like, this is great, you know, mm-hmm. when uh, there's some kind of medical emergency, people are like, is there anybody yeah. other who can fly a plane? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You won't need that. You won't need Ted Stryker. That's right. good. I saw good. one that was like, I think it was in London or something like that, but the winds were so bad that it it was touching down and then it was just too off balance. So yeah. it had to go straight back up again. And it looks yeah. like the tail's going to scrape the bottom yes. of this. Yeah. Totally. yeah. I spent there, one uh, week in Australia this one time. Oh, how was it? Oh, it yeah. was so good. I never got over the jet lag. Oh, the entire yeah. week. Wow. I felt. It's almost sick. I was like in the 1940s. I'm sure the cabin oh. altitude was. You know, it was the 50s. Whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. Brutal. Speaking of a landing video, there's another one. And this happens uh, on a pretty regular basis. Greg's not going to like this. Mm. You know, commercial planes, because there's the crosswinds on the runways and everything else. And pilots uh-huh. are very well trained to handle all that stuff. Uh-huh. And so instead of like lining straight up nose to the middle of the runway, They'll come in almost like at a forty-five degree angle yeah, to yeah. the runway. I've seen videos, and they're mm. and they're kind of barely floating down because the winds are so strong across the runway from left to right, or from right to left, or whatever the wind's coming from. Uh-huh. And then right before the the wheels hit the ground, they straighten out. Yeah, and it yeah. goes straight down the runway. It's pretty but like, cool. Like, uh-huh. It kind of has to like float in. And yeah, yeah. It's it looks like wild. a sideshow. Yeah, it's cool. Or drifting. God, I love flying. It's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, most commercial planes pressurize the cabin to feel like eight thousand feet. Yeah, I saw I saw one. There's a there's a new, I forget who makes it, you know which uh, which private jet manufacturer makes it. But um, anyway, the the the, the altitude's like three thousand feet. I I'm right now yeah. years old learning yeah. that they did different. I didn't know that either fields. until like a oh. week ago. There's a guy that's very popular online. I don't know if you've seen his account yet, but you would love it. I'll forward it to you. But he's a private jet seller, yeah. and so people go like, "This is my budget," and he'll like he has this totally interactive, customizable oh, I saw yeah. thing. I saw that guy. Like, this is how far I want to go. This is where yep. I'm going to be. And then so guy, some guy goes, "I have a million dollars. What can I get for a million dollars?" A million. <laughs> and well, he goes, "Well, here's this 1995 <laughs> jet." Uh, and then is like, and then he shows like the actual space, and he's like, "You can't even stand up in it." Like, oh yeah, you yeah. have to. He goes, "This yeah. is how cramped you're going to be." Right. For a million dollars. Million dollars. <laughs> That's how goes, old. It's going to take a lot of maintenance and everything yeah. else. Yeah. You're better off going with one of those subscription services where you yeah. pay a sure. certain exactly. amount of money and then it gets you a certain yeah. amount of uh, hours and then you pay you know the extra yeah. hours that you need or like, whatever. Definitely. Like Alaskan Airlines or something. Yeah. And that way you're exactly. not responsible for you know the maintenance mm-hmm. of the aircraft or any of that other stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it still gives you access like whenever you want to go. Like that would be the way to go. For sure. I think. I'm looking at Air Drake right now. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if I like the exterior that much, though. Oh, he changes no. it. Oh, he does? Yeah. I'm looking at the baby blue one with the owl on it. Yeah. What would you prefer? Just silver. Just a silver oh, plane. Yeah. The <laughs> silver planes are safer, guys. It's the safest oh, color. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I hate when you get on a weird colored plane. <laughs> <laughs> like, make it silver. <laughs> they have Pokemon one. I would like want... A- like if I had a plane, I would want it to be like dark gray or black. But apparently, that's not a great option. Oh, um, yeah. It, it, it's something to do with like its effect on because of the sun and everything. The, sun. Else, like the, the effect that it has on the um, the integrity of the structure of the aircraft, the fuselage, uh, yeah. or something. I don't know. But they they figured it out because mm-hmm. people do have like black. Oh yeah, jets. So there's pretty that. cool. I go on cruises. I'm not like uh, uh, going on this uh, meetup with the private jet meetup. But in Saint Martin, when you go on a cruise, they have that beach where all the planes right. fly in, right. and you That'd can cool. get drunk and just watch the planes come in, which is awesome. Yep. But I've been there a couple weekends where they have the private jet meetup where all these millionaires and billionaires yeah, bring yeah. all their planes, 
and a couple of them have the black ones, and they do pop. They stand cool, out. Man. <laughs> they look pretty cool. Yeah. They pop, man. <laughs> you know what I wouldn't want? I wouldn't want, like, the... I, well, I'd take it. But, I mean, like, I wouldn't want, like, a white jet, and some people have, like, a red stripe that goes down the side. I'm like, ugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is just not classic. I, I think yeah. it's cool. Okay? It doesn't it's work. Not, it's not either. cool. I like yeah. it. It's traditional. I like it. No. <laughs> White with a red stripe. Kylie yeah. Jenner's yeah, has a pink stripe. Oh, babe. Oh, Aww. adorable. So All right. So um, <laughs> get the F out of here with the daylight savings thing. Five to seven days to adjust to one hour. Get the F out of here. Okay. So there's that. Right. And then there's uh, this get the F out of here story. The North Face, you know, the, uh, the outdoor company. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they are offering customers 20% discounts if they take an hour-long course on racial inclusion. I heard about this. <laughs> and okay. I'm wondering, what else can we add to oh the my list? my God. <laughs> what? Because they uh, say being outdoors and enjoying the outdoors let's see. is racist. Uh, the sportswear brand says the course is meant to educate individuals on the barriers that people of color face in the outdoors. And is also designed to foster a deeper understanding of the unique challenges the people of color face when accessing the outdoors. Shoppers who download the digital course highlighted sections of the modules that they found, uh, you know, particularly interesting. Like, uh, let's see, including a description of white privilege. The North Face is currently facing backlash for this online course. And uh, someone said, I might take the course and answer with only politically incorrect responses, do I still get the coupon? I want, yeah, just take the class. <laughs> like, can I just buy oh my God. camping gear? Get the f*** out of here. Right. Like, can I, I get a parka? Need, yeah. I just need a canteen. <laughs> right. <laughs> my all God. All I need is a compass. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Before I'll, I'll, I'll sell, you, sell you these Sorrells. Right. <laughs> I need you to take this hour-long racial inclusion course. I How much just of a discount want... Do I get? Shut up. I just want my wow. s'more skewers. <laughs> I just want this stove. Can what I just the hell? Right. Yeah. This Coleman stove. Yeah. What a weird sentence. What's a brother got to do to get some carabiners around right. here? <laughs> what a get weird sentence. Here. Lack of access to the outdoors. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, unless right. you're in prison. I know. Just go outside. Everybody has access to the outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Even prisoners. They get yard That's time. Yeah, they, they get, get yard, yard time. time. Yeah. Right. They anyway. might not need a canteen. <laughs> but they get outdoor time. <sighs> the, the, like Things are like exhausting, dude. It's unbelievable. Not that I'm buying anything from North Face. No. But even the fact that somebody had that idea right. is annoying. <laughs> the wonder, fact that the idea was brought in, to the table and somebody said okay head. and yeah. implemented mm. is Let's annoying. do this. Right. <laughs> uh, from the That's What Greg's Been Saying department, according to a report by the American Psychological Association, there's a growing belief that people should stop listening to the news. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for real. Oh, my uh, God, it'll pro- make you happier. Proponents say that you will feel calm, less stressed, more optimistic. News, just a constant stressor that keeps your mind in a state of alert. Yep. And by quitting the news, you dramatically reduce <laughs> your stress and find yourself surrounded by more positive visions of life. You'll feel calmer and your mm. mood will improve. This is, again, according yeah. to the American Psychological Association. I find myself only... Che- you know, caring about local news. Yeah, I mean, Greg used to be a, a news junkie. Yeah, twenty four seven. Which is uh, hence how he got the position of being in charge of uh, news headlines and stuff. Right now, I should be in charge of something else. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know why. Yeah, you have yeah. to like be really strong not to let it affect you. Exactly. Because it is just negative murder, uh, yep. destruction. It's just you would think the war fear. Is you know? ending, yeah. I, I, I scroll past that kind of stuff, and then, mm-hmm. you know, what catches my attention is annoying stuff like this, or yeah. the fact that people aren't doing anything about choplifters. Or, right. It's stuff that affects, you know. The common sense stuff. The common sense stuff. Yeah. Right. It's very uh, frustrating. Speaking of the news, we got the trending news headlines coming up for you next. 877-44 Woody. That's 877-44 Woody. Hit us up with a text over to 22987. 